What's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Hope you all have had a great Monday and a great start to your week. Just want to start off by saying thank you all for all the birthday wishes. Uh, it's much appreciated and just all the encouraging words that you all said the last 24 hours uh, off the community post I made about trying to improve my setup. Uh, it's much appreciated. It really just goes to show the people who are just here, um, not just for me talking about weather, but here just to interact with me. And it, and it really makes it feel like a, a family atmosphere here. And I really appreciate every single one of y'all, especially the ones that um, are always there to, to be uplifting and encouraging. So thank you all. I just want to mention that before I start this video. It's, it's really appreciated. As I grow, I will always uh, vow to stay true to who I am and uh, just be just be who I am which is who I've always been since I started this YouTube journey, uh, let's see, about you know, over a year and a half ago now, almost two years. It'll be two years in January of next year. So um, it's been a heck of a journey. It's been awesome. And I, I can't wait to accomplish goals with you guys and continue to interact with you guys over the next uh, years to come. So I just want to throw that in there. Um, what we're going to break down this video is uh, we're really just going to talk about this cold front's coming. So some changes have occurred, not necessarily bad changes, but some interesting changes have occurred. And we also are going to take a look at the tropics. And we're going to spend hardly no time on that because nothing really looks threatening. And that's about it. So I'm not going to take up a lot of you, t you guys' time uh, this evening. Um, if you guys have not subscribed, first time viewer, or have always viewed my stuff and hasn't really, haven't really thought about subscribing, definitely hit the subscribe button. Like the video if you like it. Uh, it's been very slow. The weather's just slow. There's not really a lot going on. It's been a nice little break. And uh, thankfully and luckily, uh, things have not been very active uh, late in the hurricane season, like they were last year. Last year, it just kept going and going and going all the way to November. Not saying hurricane season is over, guys, but, you know, it's definitely been much quieter if you compare this year to last year. So we'll continue to monitor that. So let's get going here. Uh, also, if you guys got anything I can pray about, please put it in the comments. It gives me an opportunity to pray for you all. It gives others an opportunity to pray for you all. So uh, definitely uh, take advantage of that. But here we go. So we're going to start off and um, a little bit too far out. We're going to back it up over to about tomorrow evening. So you notice, I say this every single time. I don't want to talk, you know, say the same thing 150 times here. But dew points, the lower dew points are in the greenish. Basically, the lower dew points are in the cooler colors. So green, the blue, the purplish colors. Those are cooler dew points. Those are drier dew points is what I mean to say. And then when you got the yellowish and the uh, oranges and almost red colors, those are more. that's more of a moist atmosphere. So as you're going through the week, you notice there's a battlefield going, out, uh, going on out here with a boundary between two huge air masses. Eventually, this is going to break containment, if you will. And uh, all this tropical air mass here that's stretching all the way up into eastern Canada is going to be uh, pushed away and dried out if you will and as we get into late Thursday into Friday check out this plume of dry air that finally breaks loose as a cold front is able to move and break down the ridge and a trough digs here and as we're getting into Saturday morning you got a cold front moving through the mid-south Arkansas Missouri Indiana Illinois uh, you're waking up around Nashville Saturday morning with a cold front blasting through Kentucky, the Ohio Valley, the Mid-South, the Deep South. And uh, this will move through during the day. So during the weekend, you know, during everybody's watching college football, chilling, doing outdoor activities, the cold front will be moving through during the day. If you're anywhere between Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, and so forth. And then by the time you get into the evening, um, you start to get into Saturday evening. This begins to move and get reached the mountains area of the East Coast and it starts to hit areas like North Georgia and the western areas of the Carolinas, Virginia, and then reaches the Northeast also. This is a big time, uh, big time deep digging cold front, meaning it's, a, it's almost an East Coast clear besides Florida. But as, you know, as you wake up Sunday morning, the entire Eastern Coast will, the cold front would have moved through already except if you're in areas from north florida point south uh, if you watch this in time you keep going through in time these awesome and these are dew points these awesome dew points this amazing dry air stays in place this is fall atmosphere probably some of the lowest dew points of the year which means you're probably going to get some of the lowest temperatures of the year for places in the carolinas georgia mississippi you know the entire deep south that hasn't really experienced super cold air yet a lot of areas will get into the upper 40s who haven't gotten to the upper 40s yet. 
And uh, some areas will see their first frost, maybe freeze in areas in the mountains. But what, what happens here is a surge of tropical moisture about midweek next week interrupts this pattern temporarily. And when I'm watching here, and this is still a little far out, as you know, the, the moist air tries to surge back northward, which means we'll probably have a warm day or two again next week. Another more reinforcing cold front starts to move through, and it cools us right back down. And this is really far out. This is past 10 days. It cools us right back down for the following weekend. So the weekend of the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, and uh, we get right back to fall. That's pr still pretty far out. So I will mention it is all but certain we're going to get a cold front this weekend. Uh, you look at the uh, European, which I know is really hard to see. That's why I'm going to get a better computer here in the next couple weeks. <clears throat> you get into late week, same thing with the Euro. Watch this area right here. And bang, here comes that cold front moving through. Timing is a little bit faster with a European. So it has this thing um, moving a tick maybe a few hours faster on the European. Um, it would it would be a miracle. A lot of people keep asking me, can you get this thing to move through? Because I live in Columbia, South Carolina, and everybody's talking about the game. Um, can you get this thing to move through a little bit faster? So, uh, you know, everybody isn't roasting in the Carolinas and Georgia because I can tell you it's going to be very warm Saturday for areas where the cold front is not cleared. Uh, so they really want this thing to speed up here. But as far as how it temperatures look like compared to, to this really dry air, well, moving forward, it was very cool across portions of the Carolinas today. Uh, this disturbance off the basically off the mid Atlantic coast kind of kind of cold air dammed us in, if you will, and threw a lot of clouds, and it was really a fall-like day. It wasn't really crisp, but it was really cloudy. As we're getting in tomorrow, 80s, Wednesday, even warmer. It'll probably get warmer each day. And, I mean, even look here up in the northeast, 70s and 60s for highs. It's actually a little warmer than average, depending on where you are. But, you know, look at the Thursday. I mean, this is pretty much like a, almost like a summer day here across the southeast and deep south. And then you get into Friday. Some areas will be hitting 90 degrees. Um, but you can start to tell where this cold front is moving here in time. And then you get into Saturday. We'll have to watch because there will be some rain associated with this cold front, maybe some storms. Um, definitely doesn't look like a severe weather event at all. But uh, depend it all depends on the cloud cover and the rain on how hot and where how hot it gets on saturday if you can get this thing to move a little bit quicker and interact with some rain then you might have more of a rainy saturday with the cold front moving in just shortly after but saturday has a chance to be very warm across certain areas depending on how quick this cold front moves through but by the time you get to your sunday guys uh, it's going to be a beautiful morning uh, temperatures waking up widespread into the 40s across all of the eastern U.S. and 50s elsewhere. Still very warm across Florida, unfortunately. But uh, I think uh, y'all will get a cold front sooner than later. But then high Sunday in the 70s across and 60s. Just a beautiful fall day. Uh, much deserved as much as October has been a lot. A large chunk of October has been wasted on very warm and humid conditions across the eastern U.S. So I really think this is going to kickstart the fall foliage. It'll get the leaves turning. Uh, very quickly and uh, just some cool nights ahead next week and early well late next week into next week but one thing i want to mention here for you guys in texas is tropical storm pamela uh it is uh, about to be a hurricane might be a hurricane by the time we get to the apm update this is going to rapidly intensify into a major hurricane slam areas of mexico move across northern mexico and bring a big plume of moisture into texas so you know i don't really talk about much in the eastern u.s but i will mention uh, that this will bring a lot of rain to you folks in Texas and even areas of Oklahoma and Arkansas as we're moving, um, well, I think a little, a, little, a little bit too far. We'll back it up here. But here it is. Here's that plume of moisture moving through as early as Wednesday morning, and then it really gets really crazy Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And it'll be this will be moving very quickly, but there'll be some very heavy rain moving through very quickly. And, you know, you look about how much rain you guys can see between now and, and say Thursday morning, and uh, that's a lot of rain. You know, it's going to fall quick, and uh, that's anywhere from three to five inches of rain uh, in central or uh, <clears throat> southeast central Texas, if you will, through Dallas. Dallas, you're going to get a good bit of rain. Um, so a lot of rain from the tropical moisture from a system from the Pacific. doesn't happen a lot, but it's not totally out, not totally rare or anything like that. But you look at the Atlantic, and uh, there is a couple disturbances that has areas of interest. But let me tell you, <coughs> with frequent cold fronts moving through the eastern U.S., there's not going to be any threat to landmass anytime soon. 
Um, so even if this was to develop, say, into a full-fledged hurricane, it would get pushed out to sea by a cold front moving through. And uh, as far as finding any kind of tropical development, moving through, getting through the, the end of this week and getting into the weekend, you notice a low pressure pops up there just east of uh, the Bahamas. But, I mean, they're just, they're just nothing really out there. Nothing, nothing that, you know, I can look at and say, okay, that's concerning. Nothing at all. But there is some hints that as we get into late October, the Caribbean could get a little bit more favorable again. But, uh, you know, we thought that the Caribbean was going to be favor favorable around this time, and it really hasn't been. So that's pretty much all to say about that. But that's all I got, guys. Weather continues to be kind of quiet as far as major weather events. There is severe weather ongoing right now in portions of the Midwest, and there will be another severe weather event tomorrow that I didn't really talk about. But uh, also, you know, you folks out there in the uh, upper Midwest and – Areas of uh, Montana, Wyoming are definitely going to experience a big time, almost blizzard conditions. So uh, y'all will be seeing all first snows of the season. So good for you guys, for anybody who likes it. But that's all I got, guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for all the birthday wishes. <clears throat> and uh, y'all have a blessed rest of your evening.